On this video, we are going to learn how to draw an arrow to a certain particular object that we want to showcase. First, I'm going to go right up here to my uh, menu bar, okay? And if that doesn't come up, you also see when you click on an object, um, the arrow symbol will appear. Yours probably looks like a line at first, but if you hit the little drop down arrow, and that's the arrow pointing down, you'll find the one that says arrow. Click it, and then you'll see a little crosshair that'll appear. That means your mouse has now turned into a cross. If I click, hold, and drag that to an object, it will then place where I ended my click, not where I began, but where I ended my click will be the arrow. Now from there, I can make a ch few changes to my arrow. Perhaps I wanna make it a certain thickness. So in order to make it thick, that's where it says line weight. We're gonna click on that. And you wanna pick a line weight that's not overly big, but big enough to be seen on a screen. I'm gonna pick two point, maybe even three. There we go. Now I can see exactly where my arrow is. If I wanna move my arrow, oops. If I wanna move my arrow, I just simply have to click on it. I can either use my mouse to move it, or I can use the keys on my keyboard. If you use the keys on your keyboard, it just gets you in a little bit of a tighter spot. So that might be for, um, if you only have just a little slight movement that you wanna make. Now, my arrow has been created. I have changed the thickness, and now maybe I wanna move my arrow. So if I just go over in the top right hand, or left-hand corner of the box, I can simply click, hold, and drag that, and that can make my arrow move up and down, and also can make it smaller or longer, shorter, or longer. So we just reviewed how to make an arrow, how to change the thickness, and how to move it and make it longer or shorter. Lastly, if you do want to color it, you just have to go right up here to where it says line color, and that is where you can choose a line color. Make sure that your line color is visible on the screen and that the colors are not too coordinated. They need to definitely be contrasting so that someone else can see. This is all about an arrow and making an arrow using Google.